a bit of what might have been had that messy penalty gone in just before half time and made it 2 1. But for, for Barcelona, was that an honourable exit given what happened to them last season in this competition? Yeah, if, if that's acceptable even to them. I thought they were excellent for half an hour. They gave it their all and should have been two, possibly three. Uh, up at that time before a really soft penalty turn, turn, seemed to turn the game mm. on its head and ended as a tie. But um, they show great courage even to come back from that. And I think they'll always have that what-if thought about this game should Messi have scored the penalty on the brink of half-time and they went in 2-1 up. Would they have had uh, a rattled PSG in the second half? Um, you know, and they still stuck to their task and had chances in the second half. And you know, I think it, it's as, as good an exit probably as as, as they might have had. Be better than eight two anyway. Can say uh, that last again. season. Let's yeah. well, let's let's look at those uh, chances, Brian. Then that they had before, as, as Niall says, the contentious penalty. And again, look what might have been maybe. Yeah, I mean they gave her, they gave her a good blast, and I I, I felt. Uh, PSG were always playing within themselves to a degree. Dembele has shown that he, he's not he's not really of the quality at this level. He's flatters to deceive, gets good chances, great little ball in behind for Messi here. A, a decent attempt, good save by Navas, but he's got to be scoring though. So the situation they're in, four one down. They need they need goals. You got you got to score goals. Bit of luck there, hits the post. Navas got the slightest to touch. Touches on, but you see the shape of PSG sitting back in, prepared to allow them come on to them. Got and they, they made them. Yeah. Of course, and he, he missed a very similar one when they were leading 1 0 in the first leg mm. to put them 2 nothing up. And that's what I say. Dembele lets them down at this level. He's not, he's not, he's He's just not good enough. He's, he's not, had a lot of injury troubles, but he's been back fit this year and playing well in the league. In the Champions League, not good enough. And people with long memories will remember that the Liverpool won a few years ago, the, the home leg, when they were 3-0 up, he could have made it 4-0 and, and it wasn't to be. He's sitter, yeah. Um, look, look at this penalty uh, for us. And it's a very modern penalty, isn't it? It's a very no crowds in the stadium sort of penalty. Yeah, well. well, there's a new saying, you know, that, uh, that screaming is the new diving. And uh, <laughs> the ball comes in. There you go, <laughs> on cue. And um, I think Lengley is very unlucky. He hasn't reached out to try and impede the player. He has just trotted along. And the rules say that there was a bit of contact and it's a penalty. Um, I think that is really, really harsh. And it was very harsh considering what had happened for 30 minutes before that. That was literally PSG's first real attack, if you could call it that. Is it a penalty that only gets awarded in the, the world of VAR? Yeah, probably now, the way the game has gone, we saw last night how, how far back, how long back they went before awarding the penalty in the Dortmund situation. But yeah, I mean, there was, uh, I don't know if the referee, I don't think the referee spotted that, and he tell her mm. in the first, the first instant, and uh, it was it was a harsh penalty, to say, to say the least, and um, it could have, well, it, it did wrap up the game. I mean, I felt the game was wrapped up before the match. I didn't think Barcelona had the quality to come back from this situation. And be it that the match was away and there's no crowd anyway, even if there ha had been a crowd and it was a full Barcelona crowd in Paris. It was always a big I, ask. I, it wasn't gonna, they weren't going to do it. Um, we are going to get very like, fewer and fewer more opportunities to savour these moments. So let's rejoice and savour in an, a, another amazing Lionel Messi Champions League goal. His 120th in the competition, I don't know where this ranks, but maybe in his drink it in. maybe in his top 50. I mean, <laughs> I think we all like the dribbler ones better. I always like the dribbling ones when he leaves fellas on the backside, uh, fellas uh, on the ground all around them. It was absolutely sensational strike, having to drop a bit deeper to get the ball again. Worked very hard for the team tonight to try and pull out something ridiculous from the position they were in, and let's hope. He, he goes on for longer, Tommy. You know, a bit like mm. Ronaldo, that he, he's still at. He's 33 now. Do we see him for another three or four years? Maybe playing a bit deeper, not as the loose number nine, and create more goals and coming out with shots like that. Maybe he won't be in, involved in the dribbling in the last 30 yards close to the goal in the, in the future. He's, but he, he's not finished yet. But he's still Life the old dog producing yet. bits of magic like that. Unfortunately, though, the other side of the coin was, was the penalty that he missed. I will see the incident again mm -hmm. another one where there was a check and a bit of contact and it, it had to yeah. be given but alas Messi couldn't couldn't do the job yeah so, so the ball hops up here Griezmann uh, goes for it and again a big scream and uh, 
the referee was very adamant, though, that, that it was a, a foul straight off. He didn't go to VAR, and uh, they, ple they pleaded with him to go to VAR. And was it in, outside the box? You know, was it enough for a foul anyway? But he gave it. And you thought, wow, this is interesting. Just before half-time, they'll go in 2-1. This will really put the cat among the pigeons. And then the unthinkable happens and Messi misses. Oh, well, it's not unthinkable because his record isn't that brilliant. Well, he has scored 99 penalties in his career, but he has missed 27. Well, that's good. That's he's, not mi exact... he's missed more than me. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Tommy, that's, that's, o that's over one and four. I said that he, he'd got the penalty last week. Mm. Before he took it, I said he scores a lot, but he misses a lot of penalties. Here he's unlucky. He can't get out. Fall for him, yeah. Some great build-up play build -up coming up to this. We just couldn't wait there. And you see again, PSG loads of players in the box defending for their lives had plenty of leeway with a three goal lead and they I, looked I, happy to say to Barca we think we yeah, can they let them come on and Bar Barcelona dominated possession they'd over they had 68 percent possession tonight they outpassed PSG two to one as well on mm. possession stakes in the match but that was PSG saying well we've done enough in we've the first round job. we let you come on and we'll sing you on the break didn't do it as efficiently as they did last week but they did enough and if you think the whole thing of changing of the guard ending of the era has been overdone it's the first year since to, first season since 2004 2005 that neither Ronaldo nor Messi will be in a Champions League quarter final. Yeah, that, that's um, that's it's telling. The proof of the pudding is it? It's telling. And uh, look, looking back, weren't they great? This might be a bit of life left in them. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, Niles finished both of them there. <laughs>